Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Um, I've got to say, I feel like somebody's coming in to love bomb you, okay? Um, they're hoping to change things around. I feel like somebody has been getting tarot card readings on you or watching a lot of readings, um, maybe out here on YouTube. You could even be a high priestess here. So someone who's very intuitive, you could even be a tarot card reader. Take it how it resonates with you. But um, yeah, I feel like this is going to be love bombing and this person is very defensive. Like they don't they really don't want to talk about the things that they've done to you in the past, okay? They really um, they really just want to come back in because you're out here being abundant and beautiful and single and you are the catch, okay? Um, so, yeah, you are about to get communication from this person. They may even bring you some kind of gift. This I'm kind of seeing is sort of begging, but please, can I get with you? That's... The feeling that I'm getting, please, can I just get with you, please? Um, here's the thing. I feel like this person has been getting their karma ever since the cycle has ended. Um, whatever they did to you, Collective, is coming back on them. If they sent you any bad energy, it's all coming back on them. Um, if they, uh, uh, you know, talk smack about you behind your back, it's all coming back on them. I feel like they're getting their karma and they're trying to... They're trying not to sink here. I mean, for real, their life is turning into a pile of doo-doo, okay? <laughs> it really is. It's been falling apart. This person's had nothing but bad luck and hard knocks, I feel, since they, uh, whatever they did to you. I feel like this person is somebody who... Um, you know, yeah, it just feels so opposite. I feel like they, you, this person really put you down is really the feeling that I'm getting. And now they're coming in with all this fluffy love bombing, okay? Um, I feel like they underestimated you. Um, they thought that you were, that you were nothing, really. For some of you, they even told you that. Um... I feel like they just underestimated you. Whatever creative project that you may maybe started working on at the time when you were with this person, or maybe they saw you in a time of struggle, what, whatever it was, they either um, didn't think you would ever be a success, they thought that you would never have enough to bring to the table, um, they thought your creative ideas were never going to take off and succeed. Um, I, I mean, you know, they didn't think that you would, they thought, that you would always be like a peasant, okay? And I feel like this this is somebody who's told you that maybe, you know? I kind of get the sense that now everything they said to you or did to you is going to be coming back on them, and they know it. You know, because you're in fact out here as being one of the most successful people in the whole entire tarot deck. And it's because of the hard work that you put in. You've also learned a lot of lessons here in this journey. That's because of all the struggles that you've had. This person never saw your value, okay? They never did. And they could have even told you some very hurtful things, you know? Um, I mean, I can literally hear somebody saying that you're always going to be nothing for whoever that's for. I feel like you could have taken a lot of verbal abuse from this person in the past, Okay, verbal, mental, emotional. Um, and I feel like now their life is crap, basically. They're, they're very low on finances. Now they're the ones struggling, okay? They don't have enough money to pay their bills. Um, they could even be losing jobs. Now their job isn't good enough, okay? So that's something that they could have said something to you about. Like, your job wasn't good enough. Or you maybe had a dirty job. This is somebody who's not afraid to get their hands dirty, who plants seeds and, and nurtures them to grow for, for their future. That's what you put the hard work in. And I feel like, um, so you could have been a very hard worker, and this person maybe didn't see you as being flashy enough. Or one way or the other, this person highly underestimated you, okay? 
And now they're in a struggle. Now they're losing jobs. They're losing money. They're losing their health as well. Um, this person's nearly broke. This is having a lot of financial issues and no new opportunities coming. Um, they could even need help here from somebody else. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why they want to get with you. See, now all of your hard work has paid off. And you're reaching a point in your life where you're very abundant here. You're single, you're independent, um, you're saving money, you're making money, um, you're making bank here. The most you can have in the deck is ten pentacles. You've got nine just for you. Okay, so this also tells me that you put the hard work in by yourself. The person that didn't believe in you is coming back in so they can be at your side now to take part in all of your abundance, all of your success, okay? You're, you're probably healthier than you ever were before. You're looking beautiful here. Um, you're very nurturing. I feel like, you know, this person, they maybe thought that you were like, you know, like I said, a peasant. But do you know what it takes to reach the, the Empress and the Minor Arcana? You've got to be loyal. You've got to be dedicated. You've got to be resilient. Hold on a second. Sorry, that was my phone. You've got to be dependable, reliable, consistent. You've got to be a hard worker. You have to be very intelligent. You've got to have drive and motivation. You know, the qualities that this person would have um, had in a, in a mate at your side, um, they're not going to find a replacement for that. Okay, and now you're, you're one pinnacle away from ultimate wish fulfillment here. I feel like you're already um, feeling really good about your life, living kind of a, you could be living a very comfortable life right now because you worked for it. And now this person wants to come in, okay? They want, they're hoping that the love bombing is going to change things around. They've been told, I feel, from another tarot card reader, just how successful you are and how, and how successful you're going to be because I feel like the Wheel of Fortune's turning in your favor. And this person is stuck and losing in life, okay? Now, they want to come back in. You're, you maybe um, haven't been speaking to this person. Like, you don't want to talk to them um, because of the hurtful things that they've said to you in the past or that, the, that they've done to you in the past. I feel like you know everything that they've done. And if, if they come towards you, they know they're going to have to give you some kind of explanation for that. So I'm, both, I'm feeling both that they don't want to talk about the things that they did to you in the past and how they treated you, and I'm also feeling like everything they have done to you is coming back on them. Everything that they said to you, every, every way that they treated you, it's coming back on them now. They're really literally doing nothing but losing here in their life, okay? So, yeah, now this person wants to come towards you. Um, because you're now you're abundant, you're stable, you're glowing, you're the catch, okay? Um, and they know they could have it all with you. They're bringing one pentacle to the table. One. <laughs> and a whole lot of a manipulation, okay? With that itty bitty pentacle, they're hoping to get like the big prize here. You know, I also feel like they're kind of a clout chaser. You're in the public eye, maybe. Um, I feel like, uh, you you know, you could be another tarot card reader out here or a spiritualist, you know. You don't have to be a reader, just somebody who teaches, somebody who raises people's vibes. You don't even have to be on, a, on any kind of platform, all right. This could be anything that you do that helps people heal. And uh, anything that you could be posting over the internet, right? Social media, you're just putting yourself out there. You're living a life of peace right now. You're serene, you're helpful, you're kind, you're giving, you're nurturing, you're knowledgeable, successful. You got some kind of stardom out here. I feel like people are loving what you're doing. Um, and you could be doing it to help others, okay? 
I feel like this new beginning is yours, but all this person wants to do is bring one teeny tiny little pentacle to the, see, they've got five. They're just going to offer you one so that they can commit to you here, so that they can live a, a life of luxury, so that all their money problems will be gone because, you know, you've got more money than they do. Who do you think is going to carry those burdens if you get with this person? Okay. Yeah, they want this new beginning. They're hoping that they can give a little and get a lot. That's what this is. And they're going to be manipulating you. I knew this was love bombing. I got to say. I feel like all this person ever did was cause fighting and strife in your life. You could have been married to this person in the past. This could have been a very toxic relationship, okay? You, you could have felt chained to this person and constantly getting verbally and emotionally and mentally abused. This, I feel like they never did you right. They never did you right, collective. It was a constant battle with this person because they're coming across as a toxic manipulator. And I feel like they really put you through it. Okay, you went from the, the Queen of Pentacles to the Queen of Wands. You know what they put you through? It was a constant battle. All right? I feel like it was constant cut downs and put downs. And I'm really starting to pick up on narcissistic energy here. Uh, especially considering the fact that they don't want to talk about what they've done. They just want another chance with you, bringing barely nothing to the table, right? Expecting a lot, expecting everything, all right? And I feel like, yeah, see, the, the Queen of Wands, she's been dragged through it. Her reputation has been trashed. Um, talk about her behind her back, constant fighting. Her life has been a battlefield. And the Queen of Wands finally takes control of her life and says, I've had enough. I'm a warrior. I've been through so much, man. There's nothing else you people can throw at me that I'm not going to get over. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that's what happened here. You took control of yourself. And now you're in this energy where you're completely looked at, you're looking away from, from this offer. You've got your two of swords up protecting yourself, not wanting it to have anything to do with any toxic situation, because I feel like you've always, you've already been through it with this person. I feel like every day you were with them, there was something they were attacking you about. Every day. Okay? And I feel like this person comes at you with nothing but manipulation. They're hoping that this, this cup that they give you, that love bombing, is going to change it all. You know? And I feel like it's just not. I mean, look at even sitting in this throne. I don't think I've ever seen the Queen of Pentacles looking so sad here. Because you were with somebody who was toxic. I feel like this was a narcissist. Um... I feel like, yeah, I feel like all the illusions are down now. This person can clearly see you and your abundance and see everybody else around them that they probably held above you. If you were married to this person, that's no way to treat a wife or a husband. I feel like those vows were broken early on. I don't think they ever upheld them, okay? If you were married to this person, love, honor, and cherish got tossed out the window. You know, I feel like, seriously, I got to say, I'm really not liking this person's energy. They are tricky. They are. Because they're like a master manipulator. You know? Um, but yeah, all the illusions are down. I feel like with both of you, you know this person's game. You know their technique. You know what they're going to try next. And you're not having it. You're completely protecting yourself. Because you know what? Since you broke away from this person, your life has just skyrocketed. You've upgraded in every area of your life. 
okay? But since, since this has been in separation, their life has taken a huge tumble. Now they're out here taking an L. Okay? It's true, though. It's true. I feel like this person broke your heart. Not anymore. You're in this earth angel energy. Um, you've healed. I feel like you have healed. And the divine has helped you. You know, you focused on you, but not them. All the backstabbing and betrayal, every single one of these swords that they did to you behind your back, to your face, they would watch you cry and laugh about it. And now it's all coming back on them. It is. Not only is their life completely falling apart, it's in shambles, but they're missing out on an earth angel energy and an empress in the minor arcana. That's nothing to joke about. And they can clearly see it now. I feel like this person's becoming obsessed with tarot. I gotta say, I keep putting it out there. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, and I'm picking up on that. Yeah, and you're moving, you're moving on. I feel like you're moving on. And here's the thing. I feel like when you were with this person, you did everything that you could here. The Queen of Pentacles, she kind of takes care of everything. She's a multitasker. She's the busiest queen in the deck. She's loyal, dedicated, committed. You always had those, those qualities about you, but they didn't care. They didn't see them. I feel like this person just wanted to keep you down, keep you under control, keep you sad, okay? But you were dedicated and loyal to this person. You were reliable, dependable, everything. And this person, all they did was fight with you, um, maybe rally people against you. Their family could have fought with you nonstop. I feel like you were treated like crap from, from, from everyone around this person. So friends, family, nobody respected you. No one saw your worth. You were put down constantly. Then when you split, I feel like this is, you don't even know about the stuff that they did to you behind your back. Maybe you do. But, I mean, the things that were said about you, the connections that this person got in the way of, I feel like they wanted you isolated. This person wanted you alone and sad and believing them when they told you that you were nothing. But not anymore. You've moved on. You've healed from this person. I feel like some of you may even have some kind of PTSD from this person. I gotta say, I don't know why. I just kind of picked up on that. I know for me, uh, I'll tell you, PTSD, right? Um, I can't even, like, I call, my real name is Rebecca, and I don't even like to say it, okay? My real name is Rebecca, but I call myself Becca. I tell you guys to call me Becca, right? That's because I have PTSD. The person that I was with was very much the same way, okay? And I remember every time they said my name, I wanted to cringe and curl up into a little ball. Rebecca, right? That's how they would say it. Rebecca, you're nothing, right? That's how they would say it. Mm-hmm. I remember they would, they would like, just be shouting at the side of my head, nothing but insults. And I was married to that person. Okay? So, yeah, I feel like to this day, I don't want to be called Rebecca. Do not call me Rebecca. You know, because that's that PTSD. And I'm not that person anymore anyway. I think we've all changed. You're not the same person that this that they thought of you. There, you're not the same person. You were. You know what? They never saw your value in the first place. I don't think this person ever knew you because they never really truly knew what you were capable of. They gave you no credit, no respect. Who is this person? You know. So I I feel like there's some things that have stuck with you from this, but I feel like. It's changed you, it's, but it's made you stronger. And you're successful and abundant and happy out here being single and on your own because nobody's, people are no longer messing with your head. Okay? 
So, yeah, I feel like you've healed. You're moving on. Um, and I feel like this was a karmic individual. I feel like as soon as you move forward here, um, they get a tower moment, okay? Everything crumbles on this person because they know they're never going to get you back. And I don't think this was a twin flame. I think you haven't met your twin flame yet. That's what I think. I think you had to go through all of this so you can stand up and say, you know what, I'm not a peasant. I'm not stupid. I'm not a loser. I'm not anything that you kept saying that I was. I'm going to take a stand for myself. I have had it. I've been through enough. And you can't do anything else to me anymore that'll hurt me. Because I've healed. That's what you're saying here. And I feel like the divine needed you to learn that about you. Take a stand. Get your confidence back. You needed to get your confidence back and take control of, of your life and your situation and learn these lessons. Each one of these pentacles is a lesson you learned, a test that you passed, okay? And now you're ready for the big guns, baby. You're ready for the real deal. You haven't even met your twin flame yet. All you've been dealing with is a narcissist. That's it. So get ready for the real one. The real Slim Shady is about to show up in your life, okay? Yeah, and I feel like nothing that this person is investing in. You know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing Miss, uh, who is it? Miss Seely from The Color Purple. That's this person. Yes, that's what this is. What? Yeah, nothing you, everything you try to work on is going to fail. Until you do right by me. That's what she says. And that is the same kind of personality that, um, I don't remember. Is his name Mr.? Or I don't remember his name. I haven't seen the movie for ages, okay? But yes, that's this. That person treated Seely like she was nothing. And I feel like that's how this person treated you. And in the end, you know what happened to him? He got his karma. And literally, just like she said, every little thing he tried failed. That's, just, that's what she said to him. Every little, everything you try is going to fail till you do right by me. Till you do right by me, everything you do is going to fail. Yeah, that's what this is. And it's true. I feel like everything that they invest in, they're, they're, gonna, they're, they're either going to lose. This person could end up losing a property because they got no money. They're going to lose their health. They're not taking care of themselves. You know, they've got no new opportunities. Everything they thought about you is happening to them. Everything that they did behind your back is coming back on them. Every fight that they gave you, it's coming back on them. Everything they try to do is going to fail. Because they never did right by you. And even when they come in now to talk to you, it's still manipulation. They're coming in with bad intentions. But I'm telling you, yeah, that's what this is. And you know what? I feel like you're about to, now that you've learned your lessons, right, and you've done all this work and put the effort into yourself, and, I mean, lesson learned from the last cycle. But the last cycle is over. It's over here. And a new cycle has begun. And the wheel's turning in your favor. And I feel like you're about to, you're about to meet your real twin. Yes. Past life soulmate connection. And here they come. I cannot make it up. <laughs> I cannot make it up, okay? I feel like right now, and this is somebody who's looking for someone just like you. I feel like they know that their twin is out there. The person for them is out there. And here you are, ready and healed for the right one, okay? Some of you have been like in hermit energy for so long because you've been played. Some of you are just very used to being alone, isolated, because you've been played. Some of you are still, you have that PSD, P, PTSD um, from being hurt in the past 
You know, is there anyone really, are you better off alone? Is there anyone who isn't going to treat you miserably, right? Is everyone going to be a player? So I feel like you still, but you're getting your justice. Not everybody's going to be a player. You're about to get your justice here and real love in an emperor. Yes, yes. And then here they come. I'm telling you, I cannot make it up. <laughs> I can't make this up, guys. You're leaving the player days, people who played you, people who are dishonest with you, people who really weren't committed to you in the first place. I feel like, yeah, um, you're, you're leaving that in the past. You've got real, the real deal here. No, justice, scales are going to be balanced for you, darling. That's what the universe is saying. Coming in fast, this new love who happens to be an emperor to an empress, and this new one will be, you're about to meet, da-da-da-da, drum roll, your twin flame. You haven't even met them yet because you weren't ready. Yep. I love this reading, you guys. I love this reading. <laughs> yeah, so um, anyway, just expect this narcissistic person from your past to come back in, but you're not going to want to even, I feel like you're already protecting yourself from them. You know their game. You know what they're going to try to do. Um, and I feel like you're going to block this person out, and they're going to continue. You know, everything they do is going to fail. Yeah. Yeah, 